joined by travel expert Simon Calder now. He's here to answer as many of your questions. Um, should we get a general sense of the, the overall picture at the moment, Simon? It's pretty dire, I would say. Yeah, suggest. how worried well, should people be? Uh, not very worried at all. Okay. Now, I don't want to minimise <laughs> the terrible experiences that some people are having. So, for instance, there's a whole plane load of EasyJet passengers waking up and watching from... Gatwick Airport hotels rather than beautiful Palma, Mallorca, because their flight was um, grounded overnight at very late notice last night. Yeah. This morning, people who are heading for Turin, um, for Sofia, for Glasgow on um, EasyJet from Gatwick are finding that those flights aren't going ahead either. And British Airways out of Gatwick is having problems. Alicante, Amsterdam, Malaga, Menorca, all those cancelled at relatively short notice. However, and while I absolutely sympathise with the thousands of people who will be out of position, um, the vast majority of holidaymakers are getting away exactly as they expect to. We're going to have some problems this afternoon in southern England because there's going to be lots of storms. There's going to be air traffic control hold-ups. Uh, the odd plane will, um, will break down and that will hold people up. But in general... You will get where you need to be, although I absolutely understand that an awful lot of people are feeling apprehensive rather yeah, than just looking... It's the worry, isn't it? Mm. Because yeah. you don't know, is, is the flight going to be cancelled? Is there going to be enough notice? Are they going to do it at the last minute? So, Let's go through some of the mm, questions, because sure. Helen says, we're due to go on holiday on Sunday from Gatwick. Will we know before we get there if there's changes to our flight or our holiday? Almost certainly you will find out in advance and almost certainly there won't be any changes. What we've seen is British Airways, um, but more particularly EasyJet and also Wizz Air out of Gatwick Airport, have been overstretched. There's very little resilience in the system. Now, in the next couple of weeks, we will see a wide range of cancellations. Gatwick said you've got to reduce the number of flights because, um, frankly, we don't want to see lots of people stranded here. Um, and then you will, be, you will be finding out a week or two, hopefully, in advance. But there's always going to be stuff that happens on the date. The most important thing you need to know, your rights, if your flight is cancelled, doesn't matter if it's three months ahead or three hours ahead, the airline has to get you to your destination on the day you're supposed to get there if there is any seat available on any airline. Yeah, this is, this is Phyllis's question, actually. Phyllis was booked flights from Glasgow Airport in June to go to Tenerife, only mm -hmm. found out on Tuesday that the Ryanair staff intend to strike around those days. There was no mention of this at the time of booking. I've not seen this highlighted in the news. Can you tell me their rights? So you're saying that the, it's the airline's responsibility to make sure they're on a, an equivalent flight and get to their destination? Yes. What if that isn't possible? What if they say, well, they, all the other flights are booked and there are no other flights going on, the on, on this date? Then, then what happens? Well, then, then they might need to put you up in a hotel overnight. But generally, even though we are moving into the time, and, of course, Scottish schools are breaking up uh, imminently and the, the school holidays will start there, there will always be ways which might involve flying you know, to London from Glasgow and then on from there. Uh, now, in the context of the strikes, lots of people concerned about this, Ryanair cabin crew in Italy, in Portugal, in Spain, in Belgium, threatening to strike. The airline says, we do not expect this to disrupt our operations. EasyJet also facing strikes with some of its crew um, in J early July. But again, the assumption is your flight is going to go ahead. And at two o'clock today, we find out if um, British Airways ground staff right. working for, uh, belonging so to the GMB union will be... Um, Can I ask uh, you, at the time, people say, well, I don't want to stay overnight and I don't want to fly the next day. I don't want to go on that airline. You know, but can, can they just demand a refund? Could they just say, well, I oh, just you, want... You can certainly take a refund, but, of yeah. course, most people just want to get away on right. their holiday. Mm. And the trouble is, if you've booked a flight that doesn't go and you've booked a holiday, uh, a hotel and a rental car separately, then the uh, hotel and the rental car company you're going to say, well, you know, you're, you're, what you booked is here. You can't have a refund. So sure. that's a really uh, yeah. important thing to remember. If you're on okay. a package holiday and the flight gets cancelled, then you certainly get a refund for the whole lot. So what about the, the sort of expenses incurred if, if something is cancelled? We've got a question here. SH on Twitter says, I was due to fly out in July. It's got cancelled. Can I claim my train tickets back as I had to travel from Glasgow to Manchester? Uh, almost certainly not. If you decided not to travel as opposed to exercising your right to have another flight, then this would be a consequential loss and I don't think you would find either the airline 
or your travel insurer are interested in, in paying for that. However, many advanced tickets, if that's what you've bought, are, are kind of changeable or refundable for a voucher. OK. Good to know. Now, this is the dreaded word when you think about holidays, is passports and getting oh. them renewed and, make, and realising the last minute they're, they're not valid. Kevin says, my passport application, application has taken a backward step from in-processing. I know what he means, this. You go on the internet, it'll tell you, you know, what, what the latest stage is. So he said it was... At first it was in-processing, but it's gone backwards to now just received your doc documents that sound good, does after it? eight weeks since application. And I cannot speak to anyone. I can understand the passport office, like so many organisations, probably haven't got enough staff, not many people are answering the phones, people are probably working from home, oh, there's all sorts of things going on. So ca can you help uh, Kevin on, 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 you know, to understand what is going on and what he can do? I can't help Kevin directly. Damn it. But, but there's a couple of things. First of all, after 10 weeks, you are absolutely entitled to get onto the passport advice line, which is answering, it has got a little bit better, and say, I applied 10 weeks ago, um, that's, you know, that's how long you told me my application would take. You now need to accelerate this immediately. And the other thing you do is contact your MP because she or he will have a direct line oh. to the Home Office, right. which they can call and, and to um, promote things. And certainly, okay. if you've got compassionate reasons for needing to travel immediately, that is the yeah. uh, route to go. Well, that's look, good to know. And the, and the other issue, there's, there's talks that even the civil service may be striking. You know, that could affect people in the passport offices. We don't know how soon that will be, but that would be disastrous as well, wouldn't it? Well, it would slow things up. Most people who are applying online for a passport, it doesn't really touch the sides. People don't get involved. Um, it's all automated. And many people are telling me they're getting their passports if you apply online, if you get everything right, if you get the photo uh, that's acceptable, uh, within two or three weeks. So right. that's the way to okay. do it. Um, and, yeah, there's all these threats, all this apprehension, and I really, really sympathise. But, honestly, I'm looking forward to my holidays this summer. So look forward to your holiday. Yeah. Fingers crossed it all works out. I mean, do we just have to get through the summer? Is it going to calm down uh, after things that? Things will... But, I mean, we've got so many stresses and strains, very little resilience in the system anywhere, and uh, we're ultimately... the people who are really going to uh, find it difficult are people like me who like to hang on for a last-minute deal. Um, <laughs> July and, in mm. particular, August, they're going to be very thin on the ground and they're not going to be bargains. Mm. OK, all right. Well, Simon, thanks very much for going through all those questions for us. Thank, Thank you. you.